Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on case statement in Bash. In this tutorial, we will learn importance of case statement, syntax of case statement with an example. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge on basics of shell scripting. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.1.10. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended to practice this tutorial. The Bash shell has two forms of conditional statement. If statement and case statement. Case statement can be alternately used in place of if-else statement. The case statement is preferred when there are many items to select from. It is usually used to implement menus in a script. Let us see the syntax. Case, space, dollar variable, space, in, match1, close round bracket, space, command, and semicolon twice. Match in, close round bracket, space, commands, and semicolon twice, asterisk, close round bracket, space, command to execute by default, and semicolon twice, ESAC. The variable is compared to match1. If it does not match, it moves on to the next case, which is match in. It will check if any one of these strings matches variable. If yes, then all the commands until the double semicolon are executed. If neither match variable, the commands associated with the asterisk are executed. It is the default case condition because the asterisk will match all strings. ESAC marks the end of case block. Let us understand case statement with an example. I have already typed the program, so I will open the file case.sh. The program prints a warning message when the disk space reaches a certain limit. This is the shebang line. The location of bash is different in other Linux flavors like CentOS, Red Hat, etc. Previously used slash bin slash bash points directly to the binary file. ENV used here abstracts the true location where bash is located. This shebang line improves the portability of the script on any GNU Linux system. DF-H displays disk space usage in human readable form. The output is piped to sort hyphen rk file which sorts the fifth column in reverse order. The output is then passed to awk fnr equals to equals to 2 print dollar 5 which extracts the fifth field of the second line. Eventually the output is passed to cut hyphen d percentage sign hyphen f1 to strip out percentage sign. This is the first line of case statement. Here we compare the space between 0 and 69. If match is found, it prints everything is OK. Next it compares the space between 70 and 89 or from 91 to 98. If match is found, it prints clean out. There is a partition that is dollar space percent full. Here it compares the space with 99. If match is found, it prints hurry. There's a partition at dollar space percentage. This is the default case condition because the asterisk will match all strings. And this is the end of case statement. Now go to the terminal to make the file executable. Type chmod plus x case dot sh type dot slash case dot sh 
everything is okay. Note that the output will vary depending on your system disk space. In my machine, as match is found between 0 and 69, it prints everything is okay. Check the message printed on your machine. You will be able to understand which case statement was executed. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned Importance of case statement, syntax of case statement, with the disk space example. As an assignment, write a menu driven program for mathematical calculation. It should take user input A and B. It should ask for mathematical operator, plus, minus, division and multiplication. Do the calculation, print the output. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial team. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.